Hi everyone, it's Jennifer Endress from the Family Support Team at the International Rett Syndrome Foundation. I'm here today at Boston Children's Hospital alongside Dr. Walter Kaufman. Dr. Kaufman is the director of the Rett Syndrome program here at Children's um, and he's going to share some exciting information um, with all of you families. So thank you Walter for talking with us today. Thank you Jennifer. I'm very glad to be here to communicate good news. Uh, we just have published the paper on the phase one IGF-1 trial and the conclusions of the paper are that IGF-1 was safe, was well tolerated, was easy to administer by the parents and there was some indication that was also efficacious. That means that improved some symptoms. Those symptoms were uh, symptoms of anxiety and breathing problems, specifically breath holding. Uh, we learn about these uh, through uh, objective measures. Uh, and this is important because these measures don't rely on parental information and open the possibility of using these uh, objective measures, biomarkers, in future trials. Okay, great, thank you. Um, so I understand that the phase two um, clinical trial is in at the midpoint right now and it's open to girls ages 2 to 10. Are you still looking for participants? Right, we're still looking for participants. Although we have pre-screened most of the uh, remaining subjects, there's still room for uh, more recruitment. Okay, great, thank you. And if um, there are families out there who are interested, how can they get more information? I think the easiest way for the family is to go to the IRSF website. All the information is readily accessible there. Okay, so families, if you're interested, you can go to the International Rett Syndrome Foundation's website, which is www.rettsyndrome.org. Um, and Walter, I just have one more question for you. Can you speak a little bit about next steps and the time frame? Right, so the next steps is, uh, first of all, to complete the phase two trial, and for that, uh, we are at the midpoint for half of the cohort. That means that we have to complete the trial for that half, and we have to recruit and go through the entire trial with the other half. And, and because it's a crossover design, it, it's a relatively long trial in which uh, randomly uh, each child is assigned either to drug or to placebo in one half and then to the reverse in the second half of the trial. We anticipate the trial is going to be ending in about October 2015, and if successful, it will be, fo uh, be followed by a trial larger, uh, try attempting to replicate the uh, demonstration that the drug was efficacious, that improved the symptoms. Great, thank you so much, and on behalf of all of the families, on behalf of the International Rett Syndrome Foundation, um, thank you for all of your hard work, and a big thanks to your team as well. Thank you thank so you. much.